right guys um today i'll be showing you how to make a typography text in gimp first thing you need to do open up gimp i already have it open file new use the default image size 640 by 400 that'll give you a blank canvas next get your fill tool and have it a nice dark full black um, so you can get yourself a black background. It doesn't have to be black, but that's preferable for this tutorial and since this is the first time that you've done this. For this, I'm using Sans Bold and as my font and the size is 8. Get a nice gray color, light gray, dark gray, really doesn't matter, whichever you prefer. And I'm just going to have New Hope Academy. All right close get your move tool and see I messed up there and the thing that you want to do you want to go to layer layer to image size that'll make it a lot easier for the moving um you want to click right there make sure that you actually click a letter though like try to get inside of a letter because if not then you'll end up moving the background like that all right, now you want to get your rotating tool and rotate that layer. Well, the words kind of messed up there because the uh, tool was in my way. You basically just want it to um, to guesstimate it so that it'll go straight down. You don't have to have it like up at the top yet, you can move it back up there. I was just moving it just to get a better guesstimation about it. Alright, that's good enough. Press return to rotate it. And it doesn't really matter if it's perfect or not. It's, I mean, it's just your first try. It really shouldn't matter if, if you mess up or not. Don't be a perfectionist, guys. Alright, since it's already layered to image size, you want to duplicate this layer. It'll make it slightly darker, well, noticeably darker anyway. And click inside of one of the letters and drag it down until it meets. And just, you know, repeat that step until you get all the way down to the bottom. See, since I didn't click inside of it, inside of a letter, that's what's going to happen. And while you're doing this, just remember when you're outside and when you're going to move the background, it'll look, the cursor will look like this with the finger and then the moving but then when you get to the inside it'll just be the move tool cuz that's cuz then it knows that's the layer that you want to move just you know repeat this step a couple of times and um, depending on the angle that you got it at um, you should only have to do this about six seven times tops well eh, eight tops I don't know I'm not a really good guesstimator yeah, about there this, what we're doing now, is like the more boring part of the tutorial because it's just a lot of clicking and dragging. But once you get past the click and drag, it just it gets a lot more interesting, guys. Trust me. Um, if you don't have like such a steady hand, it really doesn't matter if it's off just a little bit. Actually, if it's off, it might end up looking better than how it would be if it's straight and guys I was wrong with my guesstimation it was actually eight times that you had to duplicate it I was close though I had like what seven tops and I was only one off alright now what you want to do is go over to your layers menu in this general vicinity scroll down and click the eye on the background layer so it'll end up like that and you can barely see the text like there go to layer um, no, image, image, merge visible layers, and click merge. It merged all of the text layer, and then when you bring your background up, it's just that. Now, what you want to do, you want to duplicate this layer, and it'll duplicate all of the words, so you don't have to just, so you don't have to move them singular. Now, don't have them, like, perfectly lined, like you just now, like, you just bring them down, and then you're done. Try to like move them so that they'd be a little offset and um, so that it'll come out looking really nice. Now you just want to 
um, you know, keep duplicating that layer. And remember, do the same thing that you did before with the clicking inside. And just repeat doing this until you get all the way down. Um, since I already have one complete and done, I'm going to fast forward due to time. Because this will probably take a lot of time. And the closer it can get, the better. Well, the closer that you get it, the better. Um, I'm going to be fast forwarding now. Alright, so now you just, um, you can merge this layer down. And layer, merge down. Alright, and then you get your text tool back out. And NHACS. And you change the font and color. Um, get a white and about yeah about 114 that perspective tool Turn and it'll get set. And in your layers menu, set this layer to overlay. And you can faintly see it, so just duplicate the layer a couple of times. Uh, about two times. Eh, once will be fine. And just merge down again. No, actually, don't merge down because if you do, It'll look like that again. So just keep them on overlay. And to colorize it, you just colors, layer type and size. Okay, so now just take your path tool. There, there, down, here. And, and control click first dot and it, and then it'll connect it all and then you just curve them about oh. like a swoosh or something. Flow. Gradient tool, and you get a lime green kind of color, and a yellow, a light yellow, and foreground and background RGB. Select from path and then get your gradient tool and go down. And that will give you the color for this swoosh. Now you can, you could have either made a new layer for it or you can just keep it like this. And I probably should have made the new layer. Alright, new layer. And you already have your selection from path. Down. 
this on overlay. Duplicate that a few times. Um, twice. And if you remember, if you march down, you will you just get. Merge down and just come up solid again. So just keep it on overlay. Then get your paths to out yet again. There, there, there. there and <coughs> link it there. color and a light orange and select the path again layer now select none and then select the path Trying to find a good angle so that you can see both of the colors. And set that on overlay and duplicate it twice so you can see the change in color. And down at the bottom, the text tool back out again. to about doesn't necessarily have to be that color. You can make it a red. And there's a layers menu. Duplicate that. And then on the bottom layer, filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And have it about 10 each. And after the bottom layer blurs, it actually you can yeah. and filters show the Gaussian blur. color with that background right there. And back to the layers menu, the front, color tool, um, like it's white, it'll look like that, that actually looks good. So I have to turn the top layer white, and this is the typography text tutorial.